Welcome everyone, Dylan Jamelli here today with a brand new video for you and we're about to get a little scientific. I want to talk to you about how testosterone actually functions inside of a cell. All right, so bear with me for some of the terminology I'm going to use here. Now, testosterone is a sex hormone and natural anabolic steroid, and it plays a really key role to making you a man. Now, testosterone is responsible for the regulation and maintenance of your reproductive system by controlling spermatogenesis, and that's the creation of sperm. And it also plays a primary role in ensuring reproductive tissues, such as your testes and prostate, develop effectively. Now, the natural steroid is also responsible for secondary sex characteristics, such as the stimulation and maintenance of muscle and bone mass, maximal strength, and athleticism as well. And not only that, but it regulates your body hair, how deep your voice is, and how masculine your personality and overall demeanor is as well. So, what I want to talk to you about is the HPG axis, and that's the hypothalamic pituitary gonadal axis, but I'm just going to call it HPG for now. Now... The process behind how testosterone is actually released into the bloodstream is pretty complex and it involves many different hormonal feedback loops that are regulated by the HPG axis. Now, when you need more testosterone in your bloodstream, your hypothalamus, which is a really small gland in the base of your brain, pumps out a hormone that's called gonadotropin releasing hormone or GNRH. Now, this hormone is actually then caught by another gland called the pituitary, which is situated just under the hypothalamus. The pituitary is then triggered to release its own hormones, which are your LH and your FSH, your luteinizing hormone and your follicle stimulating hormone. Now, your LH then travels down to specific cells in the testes called the Leydig cells, and this gives them a really slight nudge to produce some testosterone. Now, the journey from the hypothalamus to the testes is a bit like a relay race, okay? So each individual athlete is responsible for a specific course, or in this case of testosterone production, a part of the HPG axis. So without the baton being passed on from the previous athlete, it can't do its job. It's a complex system, but it's really, really, really important. Now, testosterone is a steroid hormone, and all hormones can be classified by their chemical structure. Now, Peptide hormones, things like insulin and growth hormone, are made up of chains of amino acids. Steroid hormones are not made up from po proteins, but instead they're derived from lipids or cholesterol. So as an important cre uh, precursor to testosterone, cholesterol goes through a complex conversion inside your testes to get to testosterone. So in order to convert into it, cholesterol is converted into pregnenolone. All right, by an enzyme that's called cytochrome P450. Now, from there it converts into other hormones such as androstenedione, and eventually it ends up as testosterone. I'm sorry this is complicated, but it's important. Other steroid hormones include like estrogens and progestins as well as testosterone. Now, let's talk about testosterone and androgen receptor cell functioning. Now, testosterone is the primary male hormone, as we know. And as a hormone, it has a direct influence over what happens on a cellular level, acting as a chemical messenger to your cells. So, while testosterone can reach all of the cells in your body, it can only have an effect on those with androgen receptors, or AR. So, what's an androgen receptor? Well, ARs are proteins that work a little bit like uh, baseball mitts, okay? Safely catching testosterone and transporting it to the cell. Now, the actual tech, technical name for this process is a little more scientific, all right? It's called the steroid hormone activated transcription factor. Now, let's talk about androgen receptors and testosterone. So, your androgen receptors are present through various tissues. These include your prostate, skeletal muscle, liver, and your CNS, your central nervous system. Now, once testosterone has entered the bloodstream, from the testes, it travels to whichever target tissue is its destination. So it's then taken uh, you know, up by the corresponding androgen receptor. So once it's inside the cell, testosterone functions by binding with the androgen receptor protein that then enters the nucleus and activates specific genes. So testosterone can't work its magic unless it taps into your DNA. So keep that in mind as well. Once testosterone binds to the androgen receptor, it changes its own structure. And that's because until it does so, it's a square peg in a round hole. It just isn't going to fit. So 
by changing its structure, it's a, uh, kind of able to wiggle into the nucleus and the cell and then bind to a DNA sequence known as the hormone response element. And this essentially helps it regulate changes to your genes. Now, this the result here is that testosterone can bring around specific changes to the cell and therefore it can play out its androgenic role and it can make your body hair grow, it can make your muscles bigger and your voice deeper. It's worth noting here too that androgen receptors have other roles aside from DNA transcription. So they're you know, also involved in development and maintenance of sexual characteristics, traits and behavior too. So a key point before I stop here. Androgen receptors have the really, really vital role of letting testosterone into the cell so it can have a direct influence on your genes and DNA within them. So don't forget that. So my friends, that was the complex, but very, you know, you know, descriptive. And I tried to make it as easy as I could way that testosterone functions inside of a cell. So I hope that was, you know, enlightening for some. I know a lot of people love to hear about the science behind this and I like to talk about it. So that being said, www.elitefitness.com backslash for, uh, videos is where you can see all of my new and old videos updated daily, uncut and uncensored. www.icearms.com backslash forums and Dylan at icearms.com is where you can get me with all your questions and comments. So that being said, stay tuned for plenty more to come. Dylan Jamelli signing off.